All right, good evening and welcome to the 2017 NCAA Division II South Region Volleyball Tournament post-game press conference following quarterfinal number three. We are joined by St. Leo University, who defeated the University of North Alabama 3-1, advancing to a semifinal match against the winner of Florida Southern College and Kentucky State University tomorrow, Friday, December 1st at 7.30 p.m. here on the campus of Florida Southern College in Jenkins Fieldhouse. We are joined by Lions head coach Sam Sabrone, student athletes Anna Garrett and Victoria Omorji. Opening statement about the game coach. Well, I'm just very proud of the girls tonight. I thought we played a great match. I thought we were very aggressive. We stuck to our game plan, and they made great adjustments. So I'm very proud of them. Victoria, you're doing a double take in your stats tonight. Uh, can you tell me about your uh, your game tonight and what you were feeling out there? Um, I knew that they were a strong team, very scrappy, and I just knew that I had to give it my all and just – go 100% and know that we could beat them and that I could beat their block. And if you've uh, faced them, obviously, earlier this season, did they throw anything differently at you uh, than previous? Um, I don't think so. I think we just uh, planned really well against this team. Like, we scattered them really well. So um, I think we just worked really hard and stuck to the game plan. Questions, Brett? Um, coach, for you, this is the second time you've faced uh, North Island. How how do you prep for a team like that, knowing that you you guys were up 2-0 earlier this season? How did, how did you prep going into that on the Well, I just know that they're a team that never gives up. I, so I told our girls that we got to stay on it. Um, they're a very offensive team. So I told them our blocking is very important. And I, I knew with that, uh, with Lexi and Jessica, that we would have uh, our hands full. So I thought our girls just stayed on it. We never got rattled. Uh, even after the third set, we, we regrouped and played really well in the fourth set. So I'm um, very proud of their effort tonight. You guys came out <laughs> fire in the first set. I mean, you guys ran out to a 9-1 lead using both the North Dallas timeouts. How did, you, how did you keep your girls in it after, after North Dallas started coming back? Yeah, I just told them before the match that it was going to be a grind. We had to go back and forth because um, – like you said, we were up 2-0 earlier in the year and lost in five. So you know a team is not really going to change their personality. They have good fight. They never gave up. And uh, so we just stayed the course there. And uh, I thought the girls did a really nice job of not worrying about the score tonight and just playing volleyball. And I think that's very important in this game. Um, one last thing. <coughs> and you, you know how aggressive they were. Um, what what did it mean for you to see your team going up and getting that many blocks against North Al? Yeah, no, that was amazing. I, I always think if we block well, we can beat anybody because we're a very offensive team and uh, and we have a really great libero. So if we can block big, we're going to get a lot of digs. We're going to make them f make some mistakes. And uh, this was probably the best blocking effort we've had all year. Guys, how do you prepare? You don't necessarily know who you're going to play tomorrow. How do you prepare from this point to 7.30 tomorrow? Yeah. Um, I think we just have to play our game, and we have to just focus on us because um, we don't really know who we're going to play tomorrow. So we just have to mentally stay prepared and stay focused. Congratulations, and thank you very much. Same deal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <clears throat> you.